Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My prayer always is that God is going to use this channel to minister to you, to help you know the mind of God per time, and to even help you know the Lord for yourself even better. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. God bless all our first timers. If you're here to subscribe, please kindly do that and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. God bless you in Jesus' name, amen. Someone is worried, worried, and does not want you to know this secret. They are panicking. They are scared that you might you would decode this. You know, when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, this is something I already know, you know. And when God tells you something, you already know. And in another light, it comes with a different kind of understanding. It comes with a different kind of understanding altogether. You know that you're not supposed to worry. But so many times you find yourself in a position and you're, you're, you're so afraid. You don't know, you're skeptical, you don't know what's up for you. You find yourself in a place where you need more assurance, you are scared, you are not certain of what is going to happen. And so it steals your joy, it steals your peace. You're just in this place, you're just in this corner. When the Lord gave me this prophecy, what he reminded me, he says, I will go back to the book of Philippians chapter 4. And let me just read from verse 4. For better understanding it says that always be full of joy in the lord i'm reading from the living bible translation always be full of joy in the lord i say it again rejoice let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do remember that the lord is coming soon now verse 6 which is our text of um, interest says that don't worry about anything instead pray about everything Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank him for answers. The energy you use in worrying, the energy you use in complaining, that is the same energy you can use to tell God about your needs, what you want, what you're believing him for. Um, the, the King James Version says, be anxious for nothing. Be, do not be anxious, do not be worried about it. But with thanksgiving and supplication, make your request known unto God. So many of us have spent all our time um, worrying. We have spent all our time being anxious than using that time, spending that energy in the place of prayer, believing God, making our request known to him. This is what the devil does not want you to know. The devil does not want you to know that worry will not solve the problem. The devil does not want you to know that um, being anxious will not solve the problem. The devil does not want you to know that all you have to do is bring your request to God with thanksgiving. What does it mean? It means that you, you, when you talk about it to God, you thank him in advance for answering. These are powerful tools that the devil would not want you to know. And that by the grace of God today, I am here to remind you because I know that you know. If God is sending this prophetic, but he's reminding you that be anxious for nothing. But in everything with thanksgiving and supplication, make your request known unto God. Hallelujah. So did you receive the word of the Lord with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day. Shalom.